In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can create Genmojis with Apple Intelligence on your Mac. There are two caveats though. You do need a Mac with an M1 processor or later. And of course, it needs to be updated to Mac OS 15.3 or later. With that being said, let's get into this. There are a number of places that you can use Genmoji AI Creator on your Mac. Today, I'm going to be doing the examples in Notes, but you can, of course, also use this in your Messages app when you are messaging people, and of course, the Mail app, as well as a few other apps. So the first way to get into the Genmoji Creator, uh, I like the keyboard shortcut of the FN plus E uh, keyboard shortcut, and this brings up all of your current emojis. What you'll see though is that there is also now this button here where you can describe an emoji or we can select on this smiley face with a plus. If we select on this, you're going to see it's going to open up and it's going to ask you to describe a Genmoji. Now you could ask it to describe something generic like a puppy with sunglasses. And this is going to take a little bit of time uh, to create. It also says some descriptions may create unexpected results, but very quickly you can see here it gives you a range of different puppies with sunglasses. Uh, but you can also make this focus on people as well. Uh, we can see here it's being really creative making a purple puppy with sunglasses, but I'm going to delete that because you can also ask it to include a person from your contacts. I'm going to add myself in. So I'm going to pop my name in and it's going to say choose a person as an inspiration for your Genmoji. I'm going to select uh, myself and then I'm going to have myself walking a puppy with glasses on. Type correctly. Uh, and then of course, I'm just going to double click on my name there and make sure it is looking at me. And now it's going to start loading my Genmoji. But you can see very quickly, it's created me walking a puppy. It's got me in a different shirt. Uh, and the thing is, you can actually go into the edit option here and choose a different starting point of that person. So what it does is it grabs that person uh, that you've asked it from a photo. Uh, and then you can see here, it's got a few different photos. So obviously it's got the little icon. Uh, that's a day I was at the beach. So obviously my hair's a bit lighter. Um, you know, this is another starting point. If none of these photos are right though, you can, of course, this is one where I had a bit of a beard. You can choose another photo, but I'm going to select on this one for now and go done. So it's going to start recreating those Genmojis with a different base photo. And you can see here it has edited just a little bit. Once you're happy with that Genmoji, for this one, we're going to select on, I like this one here. We'll grab this one here. And then we're simply going to select on add where I double clicked and it's just dropped it right in to our notes section. I'm going to pull up all of our different emojis and Genmojis again by using the keyboard shortcut FN plus E. And then what you'll see here is that obviously uh, your most recent, most used ones will pop up at the top, but I can also select on the sticker option and it appears here as well within my stickers. Uh, and this will also translate to over if I grab my phone. Um, this will also appear here on my phone uh, because my Apple ID is connected between my phone and my Mac. Aside from just creating Genmojis uh, from a person, we can actually select on the icon one more time. And we're going to put in, we can actually create emojis now, um, a happy emoji of a puppy. And this is going to start creating custom emojis for you as well. So instead of just creating uh, things from people, basically anything you ask it to create, well, it's going to make it uh, and we can edit it too. So happy emoji of a puppy standing on its back legs. Once I stop uh, typing, it takes a second or so. And then of course it starts generating the image. Uh, and then once you like the image, you can simply select an ad and it drops it in again. Uh, I am actually going to disconnect my Wi-Fi now just to see if this is running purely on the um, purely on the processing power of my M1 Mac. Uh, so let's actually try this out now. And we're going to say car in space. We're going to say a blue car in space. 
So you can see here, I've disconnected it from the Wi-Fi. So this is actually just running and using the power of my M1 MacBook Pro. Uh, and it is still creating, even though we do not have an internet connection, which I think is really quite cool because that means that you can continue using this feature even if you weren't connected to the internet. Say you're on a plane or you just didn't have any Wi-Fi around, um, you can easily create Genmojis using your M1 Mac. If you wanted to delete a Genmoji, simply pr uh, go into your emojis again. Again, I use the keyboard shortcut of FN plus E. Select on your stickers here, and then you can simply right click on that and then go delete. One cool thing is that I have an iPhone 13 that doesn't have Apple Intelligence, but any Genmoji I create using Apple Intelligence on my Mac also pops up on my iPhone. So I can create it here and then use it on my iPhone that actually isn't capable of writing Apple Intelligence. And there you have it. That is how you can use your Mac to create Genmojis using Apple Intelligence. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.